when it comes to that very word of repentance, it sounds strange and it sounds foreign to us. And yet, the Bible says that repentance is at the very heart and core of the gospel that we have believed. And the scripture also tells us that there are different kinds of repentance. Just as Jesus told us, there are different kinds of faith. The sower sows out that seed, and that seed falls on rocky ground and falls on thorny ground and falls on shallow ground. There are different kinds of faith, faith that is not saving, faith that is not redemptive. The scripture also tells us that there are different kinds of repentance and that not all repentance is the same. That is precisely what the Word of God here is getting at when it shows you a series here of kinds of repentance. There are in this text three kinds of repentance being shown and demonstrated as the Word of God through Samuel is going out to the people of God. They hate the consequences in front of them. But that's precisely it. What they hate are the consequences. That kind of repentance is very, very common. You hate the temporal consequences that come upon you for your sin, or you hate the eternal consequences that come upon you for your sin. And so it's very easy to see a kind of repentance that can be borne out simply because somebody is afraid of hell. But fear of hell alone is not repentance. Someone can be fearful of hell and not be repentant of sin. Second kind of repentance that you see here happens on the part of Eli, and it's very different. Let me tell you, brothers and sisters, one of the things that you and I think repentance is is some always available option to us. And so we act as though repentance is just this mechanism that God has given that we access any time that we want to eliminate whatever consequences we have in front of us, including the guilt of our own consciences. Sometimes you will set out in order to sin, thinking, I can repent later. You will continue in a pattern of sin, believing there will come a time when I can repent. But brothers and sisters, repentance is a gift of God. And the scripture says there comes a point at which the conscience is so seared over There comes a point in which God has so given you over to who you are that although you are so sorry for what is happening and although you are so hateful of the consequences that are coming upon you, the consequences are already there. There is a repentance that is coming too late to keep the disaster from coming upon Eli because the disaster is set. 